Good evening, sir. Evening, madam. May you please state your name, where you're from, the years when you schooled at Swaning, and your age. Well, I, I arrived at Swaning Hill School in 1968, January that is, from Segeri Memorial School here in Sarawa. I was coming for Form 1. I'm 62 years of age. So, what was it like for you as a student in the early days? The early days of so my being at Swanee Hill School were quite memorable. Uh, I, I get nostalgic when I, I remember those days. Uh, I had come from a primary school and then all of a sudden I find myself in a secondary school. The, the, the situation was different because at primary school we had people only from Serowe, the locality of Serowe. Now when you come to Swaneng you are starting to meet people from all over the country. Okay. How did Patrick van Rijnsberg influence the atmosphere of a school as a whole? Patrick von Riesberg was a very influential person. Yes. All students liked him. They treated him like a father. He was just fatherly to everyone. Everybody admired the man. So he inspired most of the students in the school. Indeed. So do you have any notable memories that you feel you'd want people to know, that you'd like to share with us? The type of school called Swaning Hill of those days, I mean, was quite different from what I see today as yes, secondary schools. Mm-hmm. I think this is where uh, 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 the notion of education with production was mooted. We were we were students during the the, the, the morning and yes. in the afternoon we turned the, the school into a workplace. So for you, that was you know an education that was key. That was an education that you feel our society needs even now. Like I have said before, because that type of education which fully engage students, not only in classroom, but also outside. I think that's the type of education we need for this country. So you can tell us how the education principles that were offered at the Swaning Hill Secondary School, how did they influence your life? Everyone who has been to Swaning Hill School will tell you that life is a struggle. You need to, to work to make, it, to make it work for you. You don't just sit there and hope uh, opportunities will just avail themselves. We were taught at Swaning mm-hmm. that uh, we have to work. Okay. Work, work, work. That's what uh, the emphasis was on. And when you work, you, you produce results. When we work, we produce results. If you look at the, the Swaning Hill School of today, most of the buildings that you see standing on, on the grounds of Swaning Hill, those buildings were put up by students themselves. So you would learn in the morning. In the morning. And then, then in the afternoon. In the afternoon, we will we'll just roll our sleeves back and get to work. Okay. Some will be on top of uh, on, on rooftops, nailing all those 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 uh, corrugated iron. Some will be doing brickwork. Others will be pushing wheelbarrows. You name it. There was just a lot of voluntary work that was done by the students in building the school. Voluntarism was the spirit, because okay. because even the teachers who were teaching us the. Yes. They were volunteers, most of them. And they came from all over. They came from America. They came from Britain. They came from Denmark. They came, you know, all over. Even some from the Scandinavian countries. We also had them there. Okay. So were there any bad incidents or unruly characters when you were still at the school? No, that I can think of. I mean, all my days at Swanning, I can't remember incidents of uh, uh, students being wayward. Uh, because we, we 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 didn't have you know time oh. to 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 go to get naughty to get to naughty. All the time we had was production and learning. And learning. That's where most of our time and energies went to. Okay. So, what is your opinion about Patrick van Rijnsbeck and his ways? Patrick van Rijnsbeck, uh, to me, I can only sum up by saying he's my hero. Oh. He, he, he's a, he, he is a hero. In, in, in this country. If only government had taken recognition of his services, what he stood for, uh, what he wanted to do for this country, um, I can bet this country would be far by now. Okay. So you feel... He would, have, he would have made a, a very good minister of education, in my opinion. Okay. Um. So, in your opinion, you appreciate Patrick Van Rijnsbeck and his way of thinking, and you feel if, you know, the leaders of then had taken him seriously, we would be a nation... That we, would, would, we would be a nation self-sufficient sufficient in food production, self-sufficient in, 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 in skilled manpower, especially artisans. 
Uh, during our days at Swaning, like I was saying, we used to work. Some would be doing agricultural activities, others would be doing industrial activities such as metal work and woodwork. Uh, building, you you name it. Uh, and uh, I can assure you that during those days, we would know one or two things about uh, uh, these things I'm talking about. And doing them, not just actually doing theory, them, but doing yeah. them practically. Yeah, well, not necessarily practically, but if need be, you will see them engaged okay. in, in practical work. In the practical work. Yes. Okay, now let's talk about your life after Swanning Hill School. Where, where did you go after your secondary schooling? Right. Uh, after uh, secondary schooling, that was in 1973. Okay. Actually, I finished 1972. Okay. 1973, I went to uh, Mahalabu Secondary School there. Eh? Oh. Uh, uh, I was a, a teacher for a year. Okay. And then I joined uh, uh, what was then called Unified Local Government Service. Okay. And then uh, that's where I spent most of my time. Oh, so yeah. you were working for the government? For the government. Um, wh- what were you teaching when you were a teacher at the Mahalape Secondary School? Yes, um, actually, when I when I first applied, I thought I was going to teach a uh, subject called Development Studies because at Swani. That's what w- you had learned. That was what I had learned at Swani. Okay. Uh, which most of the, if any at all, most of I don't think any of the secondary schools is offering that. Mm-hmm. But when I got to Mahalape, because there were other uh, perhaps more knowledgeable people than I was, mm-hmm. they taught the subject. Okay. And, and me, I was assigned to uh, teaching Sotswana language. So in your time at the Mahalape Secondary School, did you see differences between, you know, the learning system of Swaneng Hill and Mahalape? Yeah, the, the difference were, 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 were glaringly clear there. I mean, Swaneng is, it was in a class of its own. Now, Mahalape Secondary School in another class. Mm-hmm. There was absolutely no education with production. None at all? None at Mahalape Secondary School. They don't even compare. Mahalape Secondary School was just like any other secondary school. Like today? Yeah, I would, I would, I would say like today. Okay. So in okay, so you served the society in your years from completion of education by working for, for the government offices, mm-hmm. and then <coughs> what are your thoughts on the present Swaning Hill School? You know, when I look at uh, the present Swaning Hill School, it's as if I could shed a tear because it's just a shadow of what it used to be. Um, it's just another GSS, another St. Joseph's, another what? Mm-hmm. It's no longer the Swaneng that we used to know. The emphasis then was education with production, like I've been saying. And then the emphasis now is the education. The emphasis now is just, you know... Uh, paperwork. It's just paperwork and, and, and nothing else. This is, this is why people are complaining of a lack of unemployment for, for so, so many, many years. People. Instead of people uh, uh, finishing school, school and employing themselves, they can only wait uh, thinking to get that employed. To get employed. So you feel that what Patrick von Reinsbeck was instilling in his students back then was beneficial to their way of thinking because they did not wait to be employed. Exactly. Exactly that. So I can People understand. People who have been to, to, to Saneng, like I said, mm-hmm. even today, you look at their lifestyles, it's, it's different from people who went elsewhere. These are the type of people who not shy away from going out there into the cattle poison and staying there managing uh, the cattle, staying there managing uh, the, the, the agricultural land. These are the people who are, because they've been taught in their early uh, ages that uh, life is, is, is not just office, office, of, work. office work. Okay. So looking back, how do you feel about the whole experience of the early Swanning Hill School? Experience? Yes, I think uh, somebody must just stand up and, and, and bring back the old Swanning Hill School. Otherwise, I don't think uh, there's any way this country is, is going to go. We are just going to be producing white-collar uh, people who would not indulge in, uh, engaged in, 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 in productive work. Do you feel that there's something that you can do as an individual to persuade government to you know, bring back education with production. May, perhaps in a in a little and maybe negligible way, because mm-hmm. 
what influence do I do I command to to really uh, make government take my opinion? I'm not a councillor. I'm not. Mm -hmm. a, I'm not a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. Just an ordinary citizen. But uh, but I think you're an ordinary citizen with you know an excellent idea because you know as it is as it stands right now the situation in our society is that we actually lack skilled labor and it's probably because we lack more of the you know skilled um education with production graduates. Yes, uh, I, I I don't know. Mr. Farisberg is still alive. He has written uh, a few pamphlets. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think all, all 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 that needs to be done is maybe uh, just find where those pamphlets are and then Elect dump them. dump them somewhere in the Ministry of Education. Maybe and someday, them. someday somebody will, will realize how important these documents are okay. to the country. Okay. Did any of your family members also attend Swanning Hill School for their secondary? Yes, um, I have. Two brothers who have been to Swanning Hill. I have a daughter who has been uh, to Swanning Hill. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, quite a number of uh, nephews and cousins who have been to Swanning Hill. Were but they but uh, the, 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 the sad thing is they went to Swanning, which is not the one I went to. Okay, so they went to the post education with post production. Post uh, 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 Swanning. Okay, so um. We'd like to thank you for telling us your story. It is quite, you know, it is appreciated. Is there anything that you'd like to add to round off your input? Yes. All I can say is, uh, even though I am a, a voiceless somebody because I don't have any platform to, to convey my thoughts straight to government, all I can say is perhaps somebody out there has an ear to what I'm saying and uh, they will take seriously, they will think seriously about uh, reintroducing the type of uh, education that Mr. Van Flensberg has laid the foundation for. Thank you so much.